Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back, back, back again to do another video reacting to Amberlynn Reed, but with a twist today, with a twist, because I'm also got all these ingredients here. We got hot Cheetos, I got bread, I got some pepper jack cheese, I got I got some ham, I got some mayo. I just tried to get all of the things that it looked like she was maybe going to use because her most recent video at the time of me filming this is called Hot Cheeto Taco Sandwich Plus Weight Loss Update. And if y'all didn't see, <laughs> there was one other video I'm not gonna react to at this point because it's old news, but there was a video where she just was, like woke up and she's like, well, there's some days I just know I'm off, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat. And I have reacted to videos like that in the past that she's done, quite truly, honestly. And it really does baffle me why, and Amber Lynn's not the only person I've ever seen do this, but it baffles me why somebody is like already planning so far ahead in their day to know that like, I'm just gonna mess up all day and this is what you're gonna see from me. Like that, that part like doesn't sit right with me. I don't understand that like kind of thinking or thought process. And that's that's kind of all I have that I can say about it, honestly, truly. But the one today, the hot Cheeto taco sandwich, I'm like, I probably have the ingredients that she would want or need to make this sandwich just based on the things that I've seen her haul before, like bread, a deli meat. I mean, I'm guessing she probably puts some kind of sauce, so that's why I brought out the mayo. I did have to go buy some Flamin' Hots. I don't keep these just regularly available. And then somebody in my live stream, my Twitch stream, spoiled me and said that there's pepper jack on it. So I did buy this when I bought the Hot Cheetos as well, so. <laughs> We got options, and if there is something that I don't have that she ends up putting on this damn sandwich, okay, because I haven't watched yet, I don't know what she's going to put on there, then I will get it. But I figured, you know, I often recreate these little moment situation types of deals, and I figured this time we can do a reaction, and I can make it, because it's just... It's just a half sandwich. <laughs> it's just a half sandwich. It's not like we're like making something fancy on the stove. I can do that right here while we watch. So once we get to that part, I'll make my sandwich along with her and we will get to get to. All right, are y'all ready? Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Is there, wait, is there not an ooh? moment there. I, I, I've i listened to this intro so many times. I thought there was an ooh there. Okay, so today is February 1st. I ooh. did not film You know what? I, I do watch Peter Bond occasionally and he started doing some Amber Lynn stuff again and he pointed out and reminded me that like she's, she's behind. February 1st is literally a week ago. <laughs> a week ago from when I'm filming this. I'm filming this on the 8th, okay? So it, it's kind of interesting that she's like so far behind. I mean, this is pretty standard for Amberlynn Reed. Like, this is a thing she does a lot. I think that is one way that she is able to keep on consistently posting is by just filming stuff in advance and having it post later. But damn, she really, she really is posting all of this stuff after the fact. Like, who knows what she's even actually doing right now? Like, is she even currently today, February 8th, is she doing Weight Watchers? Probably not. Probably not. And I did do my weigh-in, but I was going to edit and I realized I didn't record it. Okay. But I to keep my weight logged. Like okay. In a few different places. Okay. Yesterday, my weight was 495.0, and today, All right. which is day 32, 32 of girl, days of waiting. You've, here is. I swear to God, you're a third of the way through, girl. You were a third of the way through. If you don't make it, I'm, I'm going to be so annoyed. Because what's the point? I wait for today. Um, it surprised me a little bit, but also I'm like not shocked. Like, it surprised me because it's nice to see that I'm almost back in the the 80s. I did eat very low calorie yesterday. Like, okay. I wasn't doing Weight Watchers or anything like that. I so, had to have something personal going on right now. And I just literally was not hungry at all. 
So you were hungry. <laughs> and sorry, I know what you were trying to say. No shade. I just was like hungry. We're hungry. But also, I don't know. You know, I go back and forth all the time. It's like if you're going through something personal, great. But also, like, if you're not going to talk about it, why are we bringing it up? Like, why does it matter? So, yesterday, I had one of my normal, like, chicken sandwiches that I have and a serving of hot Cheetos. The and hot Cheetos. Around, that's literally all I ate for the whole day. And then it was, like, 10 p.m. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so hungry. So, my girlfriend actually made a pasta dish that she recently made up. Okay. And... I low-key want to show you guys that recipe because it's show so me. good. Show me, show so me, Bestie. Serving of that. So. It was so. Oh, she said so good too. I missed it, but let's see it, Bestie. If it's so good, I would like to see it. I really would. Let's see how. Let's see how wifey is supporting you. Oh, I had easily less than a thousand calories yesterday. January total Hello. weight loss fourteen Hi. pounds. You still watching? I, I hope so. So um, I am just popping in. I figured every first of the month I could do like a little update moment on how much weight I lost in that what is, month. What so, is what is this voiceover? <laughs> what is this voiceover? Like, why didn't you just get on camera and film this? I don't understand why this is why we're doing this as a voiceover. January, I lost 14 pounds. I was feeling so bad about myself, like I was thinking I wasn't losing weight. Uh huh. Like, I wasn't doing good enough. And then I go back to January 1st and I see what weight I was. And I was like, wait, I lost 14 pounds in January. Okay. I'm gonna take that as a damn win. So, sure. <laughs> if I lose sure. 14 pounds for the next 11 months, y'all, I could be like 336. All right, and let's January. Bestie, let's do it. Can we eat some fucking hot Cheeto taco sandwiches? <laughs> like, like, let's uh, lose your 14 pounds a month and let's eat a, a hot Cheeto taco sandwich. That is what I came for. I do realize that weight loss update is in the title, but I listen. Did any of us click on that for that? Maybe some of us, but I clicked on for the hot Cheeto taco sandwich. That's kind of a cool thought. That goes to show that 14 pounds a month is actually amazing. So I'm very, very proud of January 2022. Okay. So far, we are on the very right track, y'all. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bathroom Ooh. makeover. Me and my girlfriend are. She's okay. actually going to be the one to, like, do the manual labor. Well, well done. <laughs> Well done. I don't think anybody thought you were you were in here doing any kind of labor. I mean, I had no shade. I just I just assumed it would be wifey. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> but um, I wanted to show you before and after of each one. We got new shower curtains and. Uh, is this the new or the old? Or so, this is the shower she uses. This is what it looks like. Y'all have more than one shower? Must be nice. Okay. So here is the shower curtain that it she It looks chose. a little wrinkly. It's like abstract, a female face. It looks and a little wrinkly. A, I always forget what this a is. A poop green shag rug. Love it. It's called <laughs> bath rug. Bath mat. Hi, Twonk. A little twink. This part perfectly. So that is what hers looks like. Okay. Also, we both got one of these little things. So I'm gonna have one of those in my shower. Okay. And then some of the, uh, these are just like containers that you put your body wash in. Feel, and feels excessive and unnecessary, but go off. I mean, <laughs> usually your body wash, your shampoo and everything comes in a container anyways, but I guess that might, that might be aesthetically pleasing for some people. Also, shampoo and conditioner. Aren't those so cute? I can't wait to show you guys mine. And then here is mine. I currently don't have is, shampoo and conditioner in here right now. Is this the before or the after? In a little bit. So this is before. Oh, okay, online. okay, okay. Also, wait. She said makeover. It was making me think that they were like building something, putting something something together. Is the manual labor here literally just like putting up a shower curtain? 
Because now I'm like, April Lynn, you probably could do a shower curtain moment. <laughs> like, you can't, you can't put up the shower curtain. You can't put the rug on the ground. Okay. All right. I mean, also, like, get you, get you a wifey who will get you a car blanket and put up your shower curtains. I mean, dream big in these relationships, people. If you don't have a partner that's putting up shower curtains for you and getting you a car blanket, then you ain't got a good partner. Angle. Oh my god. Okay. So before I show you my completed shower moment. Okay. I decided because this was that is that is a container from the Ariana Grande perfume. Why are you putting soap in that? Why are you putting soap in that? For a perfume that I use, which I use it all. So I'm gonna use this for my soap. Perfect idea. Now, these are my shampoo and conditioner dispensers. Okay. Oh it's perfect timing that this came in the mail because I just got done with my other shampoo. Okay. I started using conditioner again a couple months ago because I stopped for a hot minute. Why were you not using conditioner? So now I'm going to add... I don't remember that. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry if I don't remember that. These. So conditioner. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, no. Oh, is she going to make a mess? Please don't make a mess. Please don't make a mess. Too much with thousand pound sisters, y'all. Been watching too much with thousand pound sisters. Okay, now we're gonna do shampoo. Okay, are we gonna get a fart noise here too? It's just like the conditioner. <laughs> so this is argan oil repair, uh, herbal essence. <laughs> Herbal Essences. She's got the urge to herbal. You got the herbal in the shower. For another half an hour, she's got the urge. Natural botanicals, she's got the urge to herbal. Did I just unlock some memories <laughs> for some of you? Did I? Do you remember that commercial for the Herbal Essences? Hey, so here is my little I feel fresh holder. Do people, wait. Brushing your teeth in the shower is 10 out of 10. Do people do that? Is, and also, is that the only time you're brushing your teeth is when you're in the shower? Because, like, I guess I could see brushing your teeth in the shower, but, like, I'm brushing my teeth also when I'm not in the shower. You know what I'm saying? And some days, like, I shower when I wouldn't naturally be brushing my teeth. So, like... Is that the only time we're brushing our teeth is when we're in the shower? That feels real inconvenient to have your, your toothpaste in the shower, your toothbrush in the shower. I keep mine by the sink because it's like, I can brush it after meals. I always brush my teeth before I go to bed. You know, that kind of a thing. I'm, I'm not taking a shower before I go to bed. I know some people do. I don't personally. So it's just like, what are we doing here? I don't know. Is that weird? Do y'all do y'all brush your teeth in the shower? I do like to use Dial Bar Soap for my body. It just okay. makes me feel the cleanest. Great. Here's mine. Where are the fucking Cheeto tacos? <laughs> How are we over halfway through this video and I haven't gotten a goddamn Cheeto taco yet? I'm pissed. Conditioner and my shampoo. Oh my god, that's so cute. And here is my okay. shower curtain All right. and bath mat. Oh, is that a doily? Um, is that Chantal's doily on the floor? Is a silhouette of the female body. Great. Isn't that so freaking cute? So cute. I prefer this over what I had before. Okay, sure. great. This is Love that. Day. Okay, you guys. Hello. Hi. February 2nd. So this morning was super busy. Okay. So I did not record my weight. I wish I would have because I'm at 489.6, which Ooh, I'm super happy okay. about. But today I had a little slip up. Also, though, how are you so busy? I don't under I don't understand when she says, I'm so busy, I couldn't do my job. What were you so busy with that you couldn't do the one thing that you have to do for <laughs> for your job? I don't understand. It is what it is. Like I'm not 
I'm not here to make excuses. Like, a lot of people are like, why aren't you being authentic? And I'm like, what? <laughs> what you mean? Like, I've literally been sharing my weight. I've been sharing my struggles. I don't. I've been sharing when I'm on track, off track. I don't. I don't. I don't know that that's what they're talking about, Bestie. I mean, I think it's been pretty clear, especially in your most recent videos lately, that you've been trolling. And that's what people don't think is authentic. I don't think people think you're, you're like, lying about gaining weight. I think people think you're intentionally, like, eating bad food on camera to troll. That's the part that's not authentic, Amber Lynn. I mean, as authentic as I can, honestly. But yeah, this morning... Was super busy because I we, we had to leave okay. quickly because to do what my girlfriend um, isn't feeling the greatest right now, so she had a appointment to get scheduled for get a rapid COVID test. Okay, which good. Thankfully, she's negative, but. Okay, well, she should also get a PCR because you never know with those rapid tests. You never know. that <laughs> I've seen so many people get false negatives on the rapid test, but hopefully she also got a PCR. Uh, she does have a vintage cold. She does not feel good at all. A vintage cold? Like from the 70s? <laughs> what do you mean a vintage cold? What, what does that mean? Is that a thing? I've never heard of such a thing. Which honestly makes me so freaking depressed like I hate when she's not feeling good okay I, same it's it's tough it's tough to be in a relationship when your partner's not feeling good I will co-sign that agree so yeah that's why like my main focus wasn't really to film the way in okay but sure I still did the way in and I actually have my clothes on which I usually do it naked but ooh, ooh la la is. I am actively losing weight I'm probably gonna gain tomorrow though so <laughs> How do you, yeah. but how do you already know that? Like, how, how is that already your, in your mind? That kind of sucks. Y'all. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is a sandwich taco. Okay. That I just decided to try. Okay. What, and, what's on yeah. it? Also, I tried crawfish today for the first time. Okay, no, I don't do seafood, so I'm glad, I'm glad that's not on this taco. And that's a fat no for me. Like A fat no? I did not like it at all. I was expecting to. And it was like really- A fat no? Really weird because when I was younger, I actually used to catch crawdads. We called them crawdads. Uh-huh. Um, depending on where you live is what you call them. But, um... My dad would like go fishing and he would skin fish and he would cook it and he would catch crawdads. Okay. Those are a few good memories that I have. But um, anyways, off topic. Right. What does this have? I Listen, also, I'm a little hangry. I streamed for two hours tonight and I was like, I'm going to go film this hot Cheeto taco video because I knew I was going to it was going to be my dinner. And so I, I just need you to tell me what's on it, Bestie. I just need you to tell me what is on the Sammy. So this is literally just a piece of bread, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of mayo. Mustard. Uh, pepper jack cheese. Ma mayo I got. Mustard. I don't know if we got mustard. I'll have to go look. We might have. I'm not a big mustard person, so I don't know if we do or not. Chicken. And hot Cheetos. And I will say I don't have I don't have deli chicken, but I have I have ham. This uh, listen, I had deli ham already in the house. That's what we're gonna do. I might have to go real quick and see if I got any mustard. Did she? Let's go for it. Did she say pepper jack cheese? All right, leave it right there. Leave it right there. Amberlynn, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna go look and see if I got mustard, and we're gonna make this. We're gonna make this. And I'm gonna take my first bite with her. I'll be right back. Okay, I found. <laughs> I found this, this deli mustard. I think it's Knoll's, honestly. I literally almost never eat mustard. I occasionally eat like honey mustard and that's that's about it. All right, so I got, I got my plate. She's just doing a half sandwich. Back in the day, she used to call these things half sandwiches, uh, but now we're just calling it a taco, I guess. I'll take one piece of bread out. Great, wonderful. Also, I gotta say, one thing they don't tell you about being in your 30s is that like heartburn is a thing. And so I just can't wait for the heartburn I'm about to get from this shit. Like truly, I, I'm so blessed. 
because I just been getting heartburn all the time for no reason. So I'm sure it's only going to get better from from this monstrosity of a sandwich. So I put a little bit of mustard on there. Probably, I feel like that might be more than what she did, honestly. Hard to say. This is also like a grainy mustard. I'm sure I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna hate it. Maybe I should have put the mayo on too and then I could have just spread it all out at once. We'll just do a little bit of that. Spread the mayo, spread the mayo. Can you even see? Am I even showing? showing you what I'm doing. This new camera stuff, she's a struggle. I like, people said I looked high in my video yesterday. I think part of it's because I have lights like literally right here. I never used to be so close to them. And also like the screen, the little flip screen is like off to the side. So I'm like actively trying not to like look over to the side, but then I think it makes, I'm trying too hard. And so then it looks like I'm high. <laughs> it just looks like I'm high. Here's the pepper jack. She did say pepper jack, right? That's what she said. I just got this, so struggling to open it. We're struggling over here. All right, here is a slice of pepper jack. Then let me get a slice of ham. A little slice of ham. It's a pretty big slice, but it'll do. That'll do, donkey. Now, I don't know. Don't hate me because I'm using ham and not chicken. I probably should have guessed that she was getting chicken. I sh should have probably looked for some deli chicken. But honestly, you know, we do, we work with what we, we got, okay? And then here's the flaming Hot. So we'll just put a little of those on here. This is a fucking monstrosity. <laughs> Why we gotta do this? Now Now people might really be like, Zach, are you high? Are you high? I mean, yesterday they were saying I looked high in my video. Maybe I look high now. I feel like this is like some drunk stoner food though, for real, for real. And then how is she holding this? Did she hold it hamburger style or hot dog style? Do you, did y'all ever do that as, as kids in grade school? Oh my gosh, okay, wait. <laughs> can, I, can I do a, can I do a, a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so she's she's ready to go. She's ready to go. I'm ready to go. She's gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Oh. Oh. So good. Oh, hey, girl. Wow, this is so good. <laughs> okay, girl, it's so good. It's not bad. It's not, it's not the worst. I do like a little, I do like a little crunch on my sandwich, on my taco sandwich. And the mustard doesn't bother me all that much, to be honest with you. It really doesn't. Let me take another bite. If anything, my biggest complaint is that it's just kind of messy. It's like not easy to eat. I feel like honestly, it'd be easier to eat if you just made an actual sandwich. Like if you just put, and I feel like I got mustard on me, I didn't bring any napkins in here. But I feel like if you just made an actual sandwich with two slices of bread and put the hot Cheetos on there, it would work so much better. This is just falling everywhere. It's honestly real annoying. <laughs> real annoying. All right, let's finish this video. Let's see what else she has to say. I'm gonna have this one and then another one. So for both of them is only 330 calories. Is it? Not bad on calories. Is it really? Is it real? The hot Cheetos, how many hot? And just one serving, which is about 21 pieces. And just one serving of hot Cheetos, 21 pieces, 170 calories. Are you telling me that you're only using one serving between the two of them? Because that's the only way I feel like that could work out. Hey guys, so Hi. it is February 3rd. I'm actually editing. Day before my birthday. This video right now. And I realized, you know what? Let me just put today's weigh in at the end of it. So okay. here it is. I can't see shit. Oh, the light. Look into the light, Carol Ann. 
So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. I mean... <coughs> oh, the hot Cheeto got me. The hot Cheeto got me. She always says, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know, enjoy is a strong word. I enjoy is a strong word, but you know what? What I kind of enjoy, but didn't, I don't know. Enjoy is a strong word for this too. I didn't hate it, okay? I didn't hate it. Like, I do love a crunchy, like, chip moment situation on a sandwich, so I don't hate that as a concept. Overall, if I did it again, I would just not make it a taco. I'd just get two pieces of bread and make a normal sandwich and call it a day. <laughs> I just feel like that has to be the easier way to do it. Hey everybody, editing Zach here, and normally when I do a little little intermission for, for editing, like when I want to add something during editing, I usually just do a voiceover, and then I thought about how I dragged Amber Lynn for doing that whole like January weight loss update thing as a voiceover, but I really do feel like why would that not be just like on camera. But anyways, I pulled up the old webcam that I use for Twitch streaming and I just wanted to say that I did actually end up making a second sandwich just because I was like still hungry. And I have to say the overall feeling I had afterwards was just like regret, sadness, and I just feel like that's important to share if I'm giving you like my genuine follow-up review, right? Like just genuine like regret it like felt heavy in my stomach <laughs> i don't know it was just a poor choice i will say happy so far today i don't have any lingering heartburn from it so i think we're good on that accord and really the true travesty is that as i'm editing this whole time i'm seeing how i had the hot chino dust right here for the whole rest of the video i hate it i hate it i wish i had noticed and would have wiped my goddamn mouth but anyways i just wanted to add that real quick for y'all because it felt important to this video anyways i think that's all i have time for today so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already make sure to click the bell button so you get notifications every single time i post a new video Make sure to leave a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on all my social media. I'll be going live at 1.30 p.m. Central Standard Time today, so come check that out. Check out my merch, whoever, whatever, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!